Cheers, how you do, Beckaroos? I think I already got the fake fire over here. Got the real Christmas tree over here. Got a plastic Santa over here. Hey, nothing says Christmas like a plastic Santa. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, actually, I had somebody tell me, well, uh, uh, as a comment on, on a social media post, that Santa is white and has always been white. And if you think otherwise, you're the racist. <laughs> <laughs> How do you come back to that? Clearly, if you think a fictional character has to be white, clearly you're the racist, but telling somebody that, <laughs> you're going, hmm, anyway, uh, I digress. So, uh, <laughs> so back to the alcohol, right? <laughs> Something that makes sense. Santa's always been white. You, if, so if you think he's black, you're a racist. That is some ignorant shit right there, ain't it not? Anyway, <laughs> Tom's just dumps down to stealing barrel gin. Now, barrel gin isn't new. Barrel aged gin isn't new. Uh, however, I, I, I'm not a gin drinker, so I didn't jump on the bandwagon. However, I am I am such a fan of Tom's Town Distilling Products that I wanted to try it. So I, I did have some the other night as a uh, a dirty martini because that's how i like my vodka man <laughs> or my gin when i have gin uh but i thought i had to have it in its pure form and i probably ought to have some neat but i think that's a whiskey thing so i i do have some poured over some well some whiskey stone i'm getting a cold without diluting the flavor what was the point i wanted to cool the with cool the gin down <laughs> without changing the flavor Mostly what I wanted to find out is how much the, you know, uh, the barrel would change those botanical notes. And the truth is it doesn't change them, but it does add to them. It does add another dimension that wasn't there before. Again, I'm a, I'm a whiskey drinker. I've always been a whiskey drinker. I will die a whiskey drinker. I started out a bourbon drinker as a young drinker. Uh, I became an Irish whiskey drinker. I dabbled in some scotch, but I found that I appreciated Irish whiskey much more than I do scotch. I, I found scotch to be more for the pretentious. <laughs> well, that's my thoughts on the matter. I think people that reach a certain economic status think they should drink scotch. I don't think most of them really think it's better. I just think they feel that they should. I think Irish whiskey is a much purer spirit. That's my thoughts on the matter. And I think I, I think bourbon is, well, I think bourbon is just better. I, I, I think a lot of folks discount bourbon as a working man or a poor, poor man's spirit. But, but man, I, I don't know how you can let go some of the, the the american craft distillers bourbon out there or american whiskeys that are so much better than anything else the world is producing but i think a lot of people get caught up on age and, and price and, and sometimes a 40 dollars whiskey is much better than something that at three or four times the price and that's my opinion on that matter however i'm talking about gin <laughs> So this does have those bot botanical qualities that you are used to from a gin, you, uh, the, the, those pine or juniper-like notes. I also feel like I'm getting a lot of citrus, a, a lemon zest specifically from this whiskey, or whiskey, <laughs> from this gin. See, I, I'm programmed to say whiskey. Uh, I had the Jay Riggers gin a while back, and I really liked it. And the reason I liked it was because it was incredibly spicy. I had a lot of spice notes that I didn't expect that I hadn't had from the mainstream, you know, the, the name gins that everybody knows, you know. So I really liked the Jay Riggers gin. This one's a little bit different because it doesn't necessarily have that spice, well, as much of the spice that Jay Riggers has, but... The citrus and the different botanical notes that I'm getting from here are, are, are very impressive. 
So when I add the barrel, the barrel, you do feel those nice toasted oak notes. It is, it's not like it's been aged like a whiskey. It, it really is a different animal, so you really shouldn't be fooled by that. But it does add a little bit of pigment. And it does add a whole lot of flavor. So there you go. It really is in what you particularly are looking for. However, I like this one enough to kind of search out other <laughs> other barrel gins, I guess. But uh, I just, uh, Tomstown is doing such incredible products. Their vodka is amazing. Their gin, the regular gin's damn fine too. I'm just not a gin drinker. I, uh, because I, I don't feel qualified, I, I cannot speak to quality. However, I do feel qualified as a bourbon drinker to say that their double oak bourbon and the Pendergast Royal Gold, there's nothing better at either price point, in my particular opinion, and I stand by that. I will risk my reputation <laughs> on that statement. No, their they're, uh, they're, they're double oak uh, uh, bourbon is incredible, and the Pendergast Royal Gold, that's a whole other animal. Anyway, I am Tom, well, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm down to Jen Whisper. Jen uh, Vangelis, prolific gin drinker. Well, not yet, but I'm going to work in that direction. <laughs> Perfect wisdom and all around good guy. Cheers, y'all. Have a good one.